We start with snow. It's lingering over parts of New Mexico. It hasn't been a huge storm here in the metro area, but that could change. It has complicated things across parts of the state, including in the East Mountains. That is where we are going to find News 13's Chris McKee. He's been on the road this afternoon talking with folks who live out there, and he is live south of Tejeras with more on what they're saying. Hey, Chris. Hey, Matt, a lot of drivers say they have seen snow on and off here along South 14 today, but say this is kind of what you get for living up here in the area. Nothing too crazy, though, but some of that snow was stolen enough to stick around on the roadsides here and continues to be here this evening. Much of the highways are clear now, so those roadways are dry. However, once you get off onto the side roads, it can be challenging for some residents, especially for those with a lot of shady spots on their property. We spoke to a woman named Jane today, about eight miles south of T. Harris. She's been dangerously low on propane and water for the last couple days because there's too much snow for her to drive out and get propane. Also, delivery trucks have canceled on her water because of the bitter cold. She estimates she's gotten about eight inches of snow on her property in the last few days. Crews were finally able to bail her out today. For water delivery, uh, the snow is rough for them to get in. It's been canceled for two days, so I had to really conserve water for two days. Didn't wash any dishes. <laughs> Again, the highways up here are clear tonight with a lot of the water that was on the roadway drying off earlier. However, you will see some wet spots here, some ice patches probably up in this area, especially as the temperatures get cold tonight. So if you are heading up in this Eats Mountain region, you're going to want to be careful. Matt, back to you. All right. Thanks, Chris. Well, snow is once again falling south of the metro area, where the first round of snow earlier today made for some tricky driving conditions. News 13's Kayla Ayers is live along I-25 just north of Socorro, and Kayla, it's been snowing sideways just recently where you are. That's right, Matt. Well, it started snowing again about 430 and in that time it has really, really picked up, greatly reducing visibility. We can't even see the mountains on the other side of I-25 anymore, and it's snowing so much that it's actually covering patches of snow that melted earlier in the day because this is the second round of snow here. It started falling in Socorro around 2 this morning, causing slick conditions on the interstate and even with the state DOT crews working around the clock, plowing and dumping salt and cinder on roads to keep drivers safe. We came across a rollover accident between Belen and Socorro. That was just one of many weather related crashes that state police responded to in this area today. State police called in additional officers to respond to all of these accidents and say they'll do so again if necessary. Now, people who live around here say they're just waiting to see what kind of punch this second round of snow brings. It started out pretty good last night and it snowed hard into this morning there in Magdalena and then kind of cleared up. We're watching for it, so see what happens. Now, we did see sunshine and even blue skies earlier today, but looking at the snow right now, it should be no surprise that the state DOT is warning that snow could accumulate once again and that bridges could ice over. Matt, back to you. All right, Kayla, stay safe.